All right. So we're gonna work on making a hood scoop to cover up the hole in the uh, BMW there. That's what we're gonna do today. I got the air filter on in earlier and I just went ahead and threw it on. I mean, doesn't take much effort to put the air filter on. So I went ahead and threw that on. And we're gonna make a scoop to come up to cover that. So that's the plan. Uh, I got some steel here that uh, should work and we'll weld it all up and make it look nice. And I've been debating on whether or not I'm actually gonna weld it to the hood or if I'm just gonna fasten it down. Just depends once I get it all made. So for now, uh, we're just gonna take some measurements and uh, figure it out. We're gonna measure from here to here and from here to here and lay it all out. So that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so got our measurements and we're just gonna lay them out on our piece of steel here, which I've actually already done. So we gotta cut this line here and this line here. And then uh, we might end up using cutting these triangle pieces down and we'll use that for part of our angle for our scoop. <laughs> just depends, we'll see. I don't know if I really, I mean, it's like four inches down here. I don't know if I really want it coming up that high. So we're just going to have to uh, play it by ear. But I'm going to go ahead and get those cut. And then I'll jump back at you after I get those cut. Okay, we got all our pieces cut out here. Lay it on the table. These are going to sit something kind of like that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and tack them up so that we can set it on the car and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the welder and tack it all together. Let that cool down for a sec, and then we'll throw it on the car, see what it looks like. Okay, our scoops cooled down. Uh, we got it sitting on the car. This is kind of what, it's gonna come, uh, I kind of want to bring it all the way to here, but I may just clean this up and just only have it come out this far. Uh, I haven't quite decided yet. I still gotta make a piece to go along the back here, across this. But uh, I can't really bring it down too much because I probably got about an inch of clearance to the air cleaner, which is probably about good. Uh, unfortunately, it does kind of look, I mean, it, it's pretty massive from sitting in the car. As you can see, from sitting in the car, you can, I mean, it's not terrible. Not really going to affect your field of vision too much. So, I think we're just gonna kinda run with it. And uh, see how it turns out. So we'll do some, some more working on it before it gets all finished welded and uh, welded to the car. And I'll have to you know, clean up the hood a little bit before I weld it to the car. And then uh, we'll just end up 
uh, spray bomb in the hood, probably like a matte black or something to keep the sun from reflecting off of it. So that's the plan as of yet. Uh, all in all, I think it looks pretty good. It's definitely going to give it a uh, mean profile coming from the back here. So we'll go ahead and uh, make a few more pieces of metal and uh, finish it all up. I have come up with an idea of what I'm going to do to make this look a little bit better. Here's the layout. And uh, what we're gonna do is basically, this is gonna bump up a little bit and then swoop down into here. So it'll be all one piece and then this'll be cut, this'll be open and it'll just swoop down into the engine bay. Or at least that's the plan, that's the thought process. So we're gonna go ahead and make some more cuts and I'll show you guys when I'm done cutting it. <laughs> Quick little uh, tip here. When you're cutting steel and you don't have like a bandsaw or something that you like can easily cut it straight, like I'm just using a cutoff wheel, what I do is I take, I got these little C-clamps, you could use any sort of clamp, vice grip, but I clamp a straight edge on my line that I drew so that when I come through and cut it with my cutoff wheel, I know I'll have a nice straight cut. And that's a little tip for you guys that are cutting metal and you need to make a straight cut, but you may not be good at just, you know, free handing a straight cut with your uh, four and a half inch angle grinder. So now you know. All right, I got all my other pieces cut now. So this is going to lay out something like this. And then that overlapping part will actually kind of swoop down into the uh, scoop that I have made. That's the plan. Now we're going to uh, go ahead and tack this up and slide it in, see what it looks like, see what we need to do, if it's going to work, if it's not going to work. Here's where we'll find out. There you have it. That is our mostly finished hood scoop. Uh, I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to cut this straight or if I'm going to piece it in. Uh, obviously it's still got to be finish welded and uh, all that jazz. But uh, I'll go ahead and finish weld it and then I can make the decision on whether or not I'm going to cut this off or box it in. Then it'll, once I, I'll have to tack the back of it and then come up front and tack the front of it. Uh, so it'll just conform to the curvature of the hood. But uh, that's it for today. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Uh, be sure to check out the link in the description for t-shirts. And we will see you in the next one.